at the end of the day, entrepreneurs are what grow a country's economy and create jobs. With that in mind, Ernst & Young decided about 15 years ago to kick off the South African chapter of the World Entrepreneur Awards. Globally, Ernst & Young has been hosting the event for 25 years, operating in every continent of the world. As you know, there's a global focus on emerging markets and Africa fits squarely within that uh, category. And whilst all of the interest has been about the resources that Africa has to offer the rest of the world, there's been very little spotlight thrown on African entrepreneurs. And at Ernst & Young, we've recognized that that needs more attention. And as we've run this program very successfully now in Southern Africa, East Africa and West Africa, we're finding that there are outstanding entrepreneurs who have started new businesses that are creating jobs, that are growing their businesses across this continent and are, I suppose, driving innovation. Yet those stories are not getting told. So through a program like this, we want to recognize those successful entrepreneurs and make sure that their story is being told. Those who are making a difference in their different economies in the various countries. It's particularly important for Africa such that we showcase the brilliance and the talent that Africa has, the innovativeness that goes on in Africa, the stories need to be told. Sita maintains that in 15 years, they've had no difficulty in finding entrepreneurs of a globally competitive caliber, leaving the panel of judges with a rather difficult task. We look at social entrepreneurs, so these are people working at uh, the most basic level of entrepreneurship to, to bring new players into the sector. So people who run five to 20 person businesses. We then grow into an emerging entrepreneur category. So these are people running businesses of between 20 and 100 or 150 people to a master entrepreneur category, people running businesses that uh, employ in excess of a thousand people. Uh, that often operate in multiple uh, uh, cities, sometimes multiple countries. And also we have our favorite, which is a Lifetime Achiever Award. And this is where we recognize an individual that through decades has played a massive role in growing entrepreneurship. The Lifetime Achiever Award was presented to Dr. Franz Indongo, a man who surfaced from humble beginnings as a bricklayer. Indongo is now regarded as Namibia's businessman of the century. Under the Franz Indongo Group, he owns a large number of diversified businesses across Namibia. Farming, fishing, hunting, properties, the motor and fuel industry, manufacturing, the hospitality industry and financial investment instruments. Indongo has a finger in almost every pie. Winner of the Social Entrepreneur of the Year category, Andrew Muir, heads up the Wilderness Foundation. Never ever put a stutterer in front of a microphone. Because we could be having breakfast here tomorrow. <laughs> Through their social intervention projects, young people are empowered to become financially independent entrepreneurs and breadwinners for their families. I think environmental issues and social issues are so intertwined and, and of course uh, we are in the age now of the environment and change globally and I think that uh, if I do win this award it would give an opportunity to showcase the interface and the important synergy that social issues and environmental issues uh, play in today's times. The winner is... Elmian Scott. Biosculpture was started about 19 years ago. Her passion for beauty and business led Elmian Schultz to create a gel that's painted onto the nail to protect it from breaking or splitting. They were the first to manufacture a colored gel, one that can be removed without filing it away.
They were also the first in the nail industry to have an independent clinical trial performed and to obtain a five-star safety rating. You know, right up to now already we've had so much benefit from the exposure that we've had and, and I think it's, 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 it's that. having the, They'll just put us onto even higher, um, put us on wings. I'd love to introduce to you the winner of the Master Entrepreneur category for 2011. The person who's going to represent Southern Africa along with his counterparts from East and West Africa on the global stage in Monte Carlo in June next year. It's the moment we've all been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. Representing Southern Africa at the Ernst & Young Global Awards in Monte Carlo next year is... It's ticking down. Ram van Heistian founded Techie Town in 2001. The sports and lifestyle footwear business now has 170 branches nationwide. You know, it will open doors for us, but I'm, I'm really excited what Ernest & Young uh, is doing in Africa because that's, that's the logic next step for us. I think we've pretty much, I don't want to say conquered because you never conquer anything, you know, but we've done well in South Africa and the time is right now to go further and, and for what they are doing, I think they can be of great assistance for us. Next year, Van Heistian heads off to Monte Carlo, where he will compete for the title of Ernst & Young World Entrepreneur of the Year.